Okay, folks, have you heard about Tesla's latest big thing? I think it's pretty exciting. According to Tesla, it's about to revolutionize how we think about travel. So Tesla, a name synonymous with innovation and bold moves in the automotive and tech industries, is at it again. This time, they're gearing up to unveil something that could redefine urban mobility, which is the Tesla Robo Taxi. So, August 8th is when Elon Musk has promised to pull the curtain back on this much-anticipated project. Why does this matter, you ask? Well, imagine a world where your car doesn't just sit in the parking lot while you work, shop, or sleep. Instead, it's out there on the streets, working for you as a self-driving taxi. You know, Elon Musk has emphasized that the cost of a ride in this robo-taxi could be less than a subsidized bus ticket, indicating a focus on affordability and accessibility. But what's the deal with Tesla and self-driving cars? Let's take a quick look back. Elon Musk has been teasing the potential of autonomous Teslas for years, painting a future where Tesla vehicles wouldn't just be electric, they'd drive themselves. Way back in 2016, Musk was already promising that Teslas would travel coast to coast without a driver at the wheel. Fast forward a few years, and while we've seen significant advancements, that full vision hasn't quite materialized yet. But that brings us to today and a bold new chapter. Recently, Elon Musk stirred up the tech world by announcing on X that Tesla's robo-taxi will make its grand debut on August 8th. I think it's a clear signal that Tesla is shifting gears, focusing heavily on rewriting the playbook for how vehicles are used in daily life. For this, Musk has envisioned a fleet of autonomous cars making commutes easier and working as self-driving taxis when you're not using them. I mean, imagine your car making money for you while you sleep. All right, let's see what makes the Tesla RoboTaxi a standout. First off, this is designed from the ground up to be fully autonomous. The Tesla RoboTaxi ditches traditional elements like steering wheels and pedals. That's right. It's all in on autonomy. The interior seems to be geared towards passenger comfort and efficiency. I guess this creates an experience that's more lounge than your typical sedan. Anyone owning a robo-taxi could add it to the fleet using an app. This feature allows you to share your car with others when it's not in use, thereby earning an income. You know, powering this vision is some of the most advanced technology on wheels. The robo-taxi is expected to feature a suite of sensors, cameras, and radars, all integrated with cutting-edge AI capabilities. Tesla software, the brain of the operation, is where full self-driving FSD technology comes into play. FSD is designed to handle everything from highway driving to complex city navigation without human intervention. We can also anticipate the robo-taxi featuring a battery that surpasses both the Model 3 and Model Y in terms of range. Additionally, producing an electric motor will be more cost-effective. Software updates will periodically enhance its capabilities and performance over the years. And in a tweet, Musk confirmed that the robo-taxi will basically be the Model 2 but without the steering wheel, meaning it's going to be based on the same platform. Plus, in Tesla's Q1 2022 earnings call, Musk emphasized that the cost per mile would be a key focus for its robo-taxi. But it's not all smooth driving yet. Despite the impressive tech, Tesla's FSD still faces significant challenges. Currently, it operates at level 2 autonomy, which means it requires the driver's attention and isn't fully autonomous yet. There's also a regulatory maze to navigate, for Tesla to roll out its robo-taxi fleet on public roads, it will need to clear strict safety and regulatory hurdles that ensure the technology can safely handle all driving scenarios without human oversight. These are big challenges, but the payoff is huge. So why is Tesla steering away from its roadmap of making more affordable EVs to zoom full throttle into the robo-taxi arena? I think Tesla's pivot towards robo-taxi is a strategic overhaul aimed at capturing a slice of the future mobility market. This move is driven by financial logic. Robo-taxis promise a continuous revenue stream long after the initial sale, transforming each vehicle from a product into an ongoing service. But what does this mean for the competition? Companies like Waymo, Cruise and Zoos are also in the race to deploy autonomous vehicles. 
Tesla's aggressive push into robo-taxis forces these players to accelerate their own strategies. I guess we're likely to see a surge in partnerships, technological advancements, and maybe even some mergers and acquisitions in the industry as companies strive to keep up. Okay, folks, let's dig into what Tesla is up against with its full self-driving FSD technology. Central to this system is, indeed, Tesla's full self-driving FSD software, which heavily relies on a vision-based system, rather than LiDAR used by some other companies. You know, this vision-based approach mimics human sight using cameras to navigate roads, identify various objects, read traffic signs, and understand road markings. The FSD software is capable of distinguishing between different types of vehicles, pedestrians, and even smaller objects like traffic cones and animals, positioning them accurately in 3D space. This system allows the robo-taxi to perform complex driving tasks like lane changes, navigating tight streets, and responding to traffic signals with high precision. Now, achieving complete autonomy is a colossal tech challenge. There have been notable setbacks, like delayed timelines and less-than-promised functionality, which fuel public skepticism and raise questions about the feasibility of true self-driving Teslas. Moreover, Tesla's approach to AI involves not only real-time data processing, but also extensive data collection from its fleet, which is used to continuously improve the AI's decision-making capabilities. You know, Tesla uses sophisticated simulation techniques to model various driving conditions and scenarios, which help improve the reliability and safety of its autonomous driving systems. I think this iterative process of data collection, simulation, and training allows Tesla to refine its FSD technology continuously, hopefully enhancing its performance over time. Now, the technical side is one part of the story. Safety is a massive concern for everyone. Autonomous vehicles, by their very nature, must be foolproof to a degree far beyond human drivers. This means Tesla's robotaxi must demonstrate an ability to handle every potential road situation without fail. And this is something that the current technology is still striving to achieve. You know, past incidents where Tesla's autopilot was involved in accidents have only increased the spotlight on safety requirements. Then there's the regulatory landscape. For Tesla to deploy robo-taxis on public roads, they need to navigate a labyrinth of local, state, and federal regulations. These currently don't fully accommodate the deployment of fully autonomous vehicles without human controls. Each region has its own rules, making the rollout of a nationwide or global robo-taxi network a challenging puzzle. So it's clear that the landscape of urban mobility is poised for a shift. I mean, imagine streets where robo-taxis efficiently manage daily commutes, significantly reducing the need for personal vehicle ownership. This could drastically decrease urban traffic congestion, leading to faster travel times and lower emissions. The environmental impact alone could be monumental, with fewer cars on the road, meaning reduced carbon footprints and cleaner air. But the ripple effects don't stop there. Robo-taxis stand to disrupt the very foundation of the taxi and ride-sharing industries. Traditional taxi services might find themselves competing with a fleet of autonomous vehicles that don't need to take breaks or shifts, potentially offering lower fares and higher availability. Similarly, ride-sharing giants like Uber and Lyft could face serious challenges unless they adapt swiftly to incorporate or collaborate with autonomous technologies. So, basically, the implications are huge. Why own a car when you can summon one at the tap of an app? ready to drive whenever you need without the hassle of parking or maintenance. You know, this shift could also lead to a decrease in car sales, prompting the automotive industry to rethink their business models, perhaps shifting focus from selling to individuals to providing fleet solutions for service providers. I think it could be really, really interesting. All right, everyone, if you stuck with me to the end, type Tesla in the comments below. And as always, if you like the video, hit the subscribe button and give us a like to stay updated on the latest AI news. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.